Passion Travail is a chain specializing in everything related to travel, street food, and like subscribe if you like the content. Kazaka, this is a popular street food snack made from dried and salted fish. It is usually served with a side of funge, a staple Angolan food made from cassava flour. Kazaka is a popular street food snack in Angola. It is made from dried and salted fish, typically served with a side of funge. Funge is a staple Angolan food made from cassava flour, and it is often used as a side dish or accompaniment to various dishes in the country. The combination of kazaka and funge offers a flavorful and traditional street food experience in Angola. Kalyalu, a traditional Angolan dish, kalyalu is often sold as a street food option. It is a stew made with dried fish or meat, vegetables, palm oil, and various spices. Kalyalu is typically served with funge or rice. Kalyalu is a traditional Angolan dish that is often enjoyed as a street food option. It is a flavorful stew made with a variety of ingredients, including dried fish or meat, vegetables, palm oil, and spices. The specific recipe for kalyalu can vary depending on the region and personal preferences, but it typically includes ingredients such as onions, tomatoes, okra, eggplant, and leafy greens. The dish is known for its rich flavors and the use of palm oil, which gives it a distinctive taste. It is usually cooked slowly to allow the flavors to meld together and create a hearty and delicious stew. Kalyalu is commonly served with funge, a popular Angolan staple made from cassava flour, but it can also be enjoyed with rice or other side dishes. As a street food, kalyalu is often sold in local markets or food stalls, where you can find vendors serving it in bowls or wrapped in banana leaves for takeaway. It is a beloved and satisfying dish that showcases the diverse and vibrant flavors of Angolan cuisine. Mufit, this is a seafood-based street food dish commonly found in coastal regions of Angola. It usually consists of grilled fish or shrimp served with a side of boiled cassava or sweet potatoes. Mufit is another popular Angolan dish that can be found as a street food option, particularly in coastal regions of the country. It is a seafood-based dish known for its delicious flavors and simplicity. Mufit typically consists of grilled fish or shrimp served with a side of boiled cassava, also known as manioc or yuca, or sweet potatoes. The fish used in mufit is usually fresh and locally caught, showcasing the abundance of seafood in Angola's coastal areas. The fish is seasoned with spices and grilled to perfection, resulting in a smoky and flavorful dish. Shrimp may also be used as an alternative to fish, offering a slightly different taste and texture. Mufit is often served with a sauce made from tomatoes. Onions, garlic, and spices, which adds a tangy and savory element to the dish. The boiled cassava or sweet potatoes complement the seafood and sauce, providing a hearty and satisfying meal. While mufit can be enjoyed at local restaurants and seafood markets, it is also commonly available as a street food option. You can find vendors grilling the fish or shrimp on open charcoal grills, adding to the overall sensory experience and aroma. Mufit is a beloved dish in Angola, particularly among seafood lovers, and it offers a delightful taste of the country's coastal culinary traditions when enjoyed as a street food. Churrasco, inspired by Brazilian cuisine, churrasco refers to grilled meats, often skewered and seasoned with various spices. This street food is a favorite among meat lovers in Angola and is usually accompanied by a side of rice or salad. Churrasco is a popular street food in Angola, influenced by the rich tradition of Brazilian cuisine. It refers to grilled meats, often skewered and seasoned with various spices. Churrasco is known for its smoky flavors and tender texture, making it a favorite among meat lovers. In Angola, churrasco can feature different types of meat such as beef, chicken, pork, sausages, and sometimes even game meats. The meat is typically marinated in a mixture of herbs, spices, and sometimes citrus juices to enhance its flavor. It is then grilled over an open flame or charcoal, allowing the meat to cook slowly and develop a delicious charred exterior while retaining its juiciness. Churrasco is often served as a street food option in Angola, particularly at outdoor markets, festivals, and food stalls. It is commonly accompanied by side dishes like rice, farofa, toasted cassava flour, salad, or grilled vegetables. 
Some vendors may also offer sauces or dips to complement the churrasco, such as chimichurri, a popular herb-based sauce. The aroma of sizzling meats and the sight of the grilling process are part of the churrasco experience, making it a favorite street food for locals and visitors alike. It is a tasty and satisfying option that showcases the fusion of Brazilian and Angolan culinary influences in Angola's street food scene. Buelo Polana Buelo Polana is a popular Angolan cake made with ground cashews, eggs, sugar, and butter. It is often sold as a street food snack or enjoyed as a dessert. Buelo Polana is a delightful Angolan cake that is often enjoyed as a street food snack or served as a dessert. It is a rich and indulgent cake made with ground cashews, eggs, sugar, and butter. Buelo Polana is known for its moist and dense texture, as well as its distinct nutty flavor. The cake is typically prepared by grinding cashews into a fine powder, which is then incorporated into the cake batter along with the other ingredients. The batter is mixed until smooth and then baked to perfection. Once cooled, the cake is often dusted with powdered sugar or decorated with additional cashews on top. Buelo Polana is a popular treat during special occasions and celebrations in Angola. It is commonly enjoyed with a cup of coffee or tea. The combination of the buttery cake and the nutty undertones from the cashews makes it a delectable street food option for those with a sweet tooth. You can find Beyond the Lookout Polana at local bakeries, pastry shops, or even from street vendors selling slices of this scrumptious cake. It is a beloved Angolan dessert that reflects the country's culinary heritage and is definitely worth trying if you have the opportunity.